Good morning and welcome to the May 21st meeting of the New York State Independent Redistricting Commission. Um, first and foremost, I have an announcement to make. Our colleague George Winner is unfortunately resigning from the commission. Uh, I think all, I, I speak for everyone when I say that he was an incredibly valuable member uh, and we wish him well. Um, does anyone want to discuss him? No, just a, a great, great part of this commission was really committed to uh, to the work. We're really sorry to see him go. Um, we uh, we wish there were circumstances where he could have been, um, could have remained on the commission, but unfortunately circumstances changed due to the way that uh, the budget was passed this year and uh, put him in a position where he had to leave. But, uh, you know, his uh, his work was, was appreciated. And I, I think, uh, unfortunately, um, he's going to be really hard to replace. I agree. Second, um, a motion. Yes, we agree. I, I hope to see yeah. him for our hearing in the Southern Tier, if nothing else. Uh, the, the hearing in the Southern Tier that Jack was the one who pushed for, not, <laughs> not George. So. Well, maybe uh, he'll be on the other side of the table. <laughs> Continue to seek his wise counsel. Yes. Winner, thank you. Yes, thank you, Commissioner. Uh, so as always, our first, we look, uh, next time on the agenda is updates on, but we just lost Elaine. So, but we still have a quorum. So oh, come there back. She is. Okay. Elaine, are you good? Are you, you're good. Yes, we sir. lost you for a second. Okay. Uh, so first yeah. item on the agenda is the budget. Doug, could you provide us with an update? So, so far. Yes. So, uh, we have been created by the state, <clears throat> so that's good. We can we have access to money. Um, we found that out this week from the state, and there's one component that is just being worked out, and we anticipate it's going to happen very soon, uh, where we can hire employees, and Karen and I can officially move over to the commission. So we have been created. We have access to money. The only component is, is just setting up a, a payroll, which we anticipate will be very, very soon. So good news to report today. For once. <laughs> right. That's, um, that's great. That's great yeah. news. So preliminarily, now we have access to money. Uh, Process-wise, um, I guess the next step is uh, scheduling a, a meeting to, uh, to actually formally vote on a budget. And... Um, and then we're we're probably good to go. I mean, uh, the 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 budget has been discussed. I think we've all seen preliminary budgets and had the opportunity to 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 at least you know form some opinions. Let's let's do it formally, and and I would suggest we have that meeting as soon as possible. So, commissioners, I agree with Commissioner Martins. Um, looking at the calendar, we were discussing next week. Would this time a week from today, ne next Friday, work for everyone on the commission? Yes, for me. That would work. Yes. yes. Yeah. Elaine, yes. John, they would work. Would work. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Uh, John? Yes. Okay. Great. So the next meeting of the redistricting commission will be May 28th. Um, uh -huh. And hopefully we will finalize the budget. Um, in addition, if I might, propose that we also discuss the bylaws for that meeting as well. I'll put that on the agenda. Of course. Yeah. Uh, Doug, any other updates that you wanted to provide? No, that's that's all I've got now. I, I got the good news for the day. So. <laughs> You're done. You're getting paid, Doug. Right? <laughs> uh, so moving on in the agenda, the uh, we wanted to discuss a website vendor. So um, Doug, I, I don't know if you want to describe how the process is going to work for that. Exactly. Sure. So um, Karen and I are going to are in the process of identifying a couple of website vendors. Uh, the challenge is the expediency of getting that done and who can accommodate us. So uh, what we will do is have a conversation with them, and then we would then have to you know uh, have the budget adopted so we can spend money to get that built out. So that's, that's where we stand on that uh, currently. So would you want us to pre-authorize your, you know, going forward? Would that be the best way? Or, or do you want to just, I, do you I, need anything on our end? Uh, um, I, think I, need, I think Karen and I both need to be on the commission as employees. Okay. Uh, just because 
there is a, a record that's going to be created when when we were to move a contract. But I, I believe that um, as early as next week, early next week, we will be able to go over and do that. And, okay. and Karen and I have already been volunteering for a long time and working together on this <laughs> already. So um, I, I assume you will be looking at uh, multiple prospective vendors. And I would hope that uh, MWBEs are in consideration as part of that pool of potential. Yes, Commissioner, that's all been discussed and that all of those things are in consideration. Great. All right, anything else on the website, Commissioner? May we send you recommendations? Yes, may we send you recommendations? Of course. Because that the, uh, the ideal, thank you, the ideal sometimes is really high, but we fall short in implementation. Um, so. Uh, what I would say, Commissioner, is absolutely uh, if you have suggestions, um, because some might not be able to be. Thank you. Uh, Elaine, sorry, I think you're, you're lagging. I think we lost the last 30 seconds of what you said. Elaine? Oh, I think we lost her. Uh, I'll just, to address that, um, anyone that has any recommendations, please send them along um, because we might have, we have a very tight window to try to get this done in quickly. So the more uh, vendors that are shared, uh, happy to have uh, conversations with them because they need to meet a certain expectation to go, to go live quickly. Mm -hmm. Yes, agreed. Okay, fine. Oh, okay, Elaine, yeah, you're, you're back. Do, do you have any other questions for Doug? Sorry, yeah, because we lost you for a bit there. No, I'm good, thank you. Okay, okay. Um, anything else on the website, Commissioner? Just a, a quick question. Are, is this gonna be pursuing to um, an RFP or is it going to be uh, you know, outreach to individual vendors and, and responses from anyone who who is being recommended. I, I just want to get a better sense of how that process works because I'm, I'm, I'm a little leery of individual commissioners sending recommendations if there's going to be a process whereby it's going through a different channel. Um, and I don't want to leave the impression that anything is being done um, you know, at, at the behest of individual commissioners. Uh, that's, that's not our function. Um, how, we, how are we going about doing this? Um, the way it was described to me is th there may not need to be an RFB process. In, it's based on the cost. So I can't uh, answer that yet because uh, it depends on how much money that we would be spending on the website. Okay. So if it's above a certain threshold, it requires a more formal process. If it's below a certain threshold, there's more discretion that's available to it. I just want to be, I don't want anyone on this commission to be in a position of, of, of in an awkward position because um, we happen to forward. If there's a channel that we can recommend people to participate in the process by going through that channel, I think it's far more, um, it's, it's far better to just use that. So whether it's, you know, if there's a, a portal or an email address or some way that they can can get access to, to the process, that, that's all. Would would uh, Doug and Karen's email addresses would that would that work, Doug? We have um, now set up a Gmail account for the IRC because oh. we, don't, we don't have e email. So um, the way to start the hiring process that we were instructed to do last meeting, uh, we ran into a little bit of a snafu, but we are going to be able to get these um, positions up public, and we created an email to receive resumes. We could do that as well for uh, vendors. That's that's effective. It's not in. It's not activated yet. The the email is. Um, the the job postings will be very soon, if not later today. So if you forward that active uh, IRC email to we commissioners, then we could anyone we wanted to forward, we should just tell them to submit their email, uh, uh, rec their email portfolio to our co-executive directors and leave it at that. Is that sort of your sense, Commissioner Martins? I think I'm hearing. 
Yeah, it really is. I, you know what it is? It, it's not a recommendation that comes at the recommendation of Jack Martin's. It's a recommendation that goes directly to the commission. Our names should not be part of that because we shouldn't right. be influencing or at least the impression that we're influencing any of the hiring or any of the solicitation or, or procurement um, in this process. That's all. I, I want to remove us individually from the process because it could be awkward at some point if somebody asks, why'd you hire so-and-so instead of so-and-so? And they say, because it was recommended by so, we, we shouldn't be in that position. This commission should be, should we should try as hard as we can to keep ourselves separate from that and let the executive directors resolve these issues directly. Very good point. Agreed. Anything else on this topic, commissioners? Um, I think this also leads to one of our other items on the agenda is job postings generally. Um, but anything else on the website in particular before Doug kind of provides an update on job postings? Well, I'm not quite clear where the job postings are in cyberspace. So, Doug, would you want to take that? <laughs> take that <one>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we had a hiccup, but um, they will be posted online and, and Indeed and all of the other employment um, uh, websites that are out there. Uh, so I, I believe that all of those postings should be live as early as today, and you're gonna you'll be able to see them live. They they are not identified um, as it's the IRC, but it's identified as a job position so that uh, that's just the way that it, that's been set up. So it, because we had a little bit of a, uh, a hiccup because we weren't really in creation when we tried to start doing it um, at the direction of all of you last meeting, we um, just removed the title of the um, organization that you'd be working for and the positions will exist. And you'll be able to figure it out pretty quickly when you see that the Gmail account that you're sending it to is for the IRC. Does it say that it's a position with the legislature or just, you know? Nope, it's just a description of what uh, the job is. Okay. Th that that will, um, as we take the resumes in and start the interview process, then uh, they will be informed of where they would be working and that they would be legislative employees. Okay. But, but the RSVP on that posting is our uh, yeah. Gmail, IRC Gmail, you mentioned. <laughs> That's correct. That's correct. Okay. Thank you. Anything else on this topic, commissioners? All right. Moving forward, uh, the next item on the agenda was the public hearing schedule. So Karen and Doug had circulated a list of proposed dates. Um, then we hit this uh, delay in terms of the uh, budget approval. I wonder if also given the primaries, both Republican and Democrat in late June, whether it would make sense to have the hearings begin in July after the primaries are concluded. Yeah. Uh, how would the group feel about that? This would also give us more time to put together a website. Um, as Commissioner Martins has noted, noted at our last meeting, that there's no statutory requirement for us to have you know, 30 days notice for these hearings. But I also think that it would be in the interest of the public to have time to be able to assemble information. And I also think that having it in close proximity to the primaries might result in people being distracted, both um, you know, both in terms of the individual you know participants in the hearings as well as the media. Well, we're we're shooting, we're, we're throwing darts against the calendar, right? At this right. point, we're not, we don't really don't have uh, a structure in place to be able to hold these hearings. We don't have a sense of when we will have that together. We have hope that it'll be done in short order. Um, and you know, if we start putting dates together in anticipation of having all of this in order, um, you know, past this prologue, we've been trying since last September to get funded. And here I agree. Are, um, and, here, and, and here we are in, you know, in late May. So I, I'm, I'm all in favor of, of going forward. I'm just really concerned with putting together a schedule and putting dates on a calendar when we don't even have a website and we don't have uh, we don't have an office. We don't have a, a uh, the ability to host um, those hearings um, until we have some more definitive items in place that allow us to actually host these hearings. Um, why are we putting dates on calendar? 
Well, I, I agree, Commissioner. I just meant in terms of a general range. We had previously said that we were aiming for June at, one, at our meeting. And so I want to say for the public record that we are not, we are no longer doing that. Well, whenever, whenever you know, you, you think and whenever, obviously, the, our, our executive directors think that we'll be ready and we can set a target. Right. Now, if we can't do June, it's unfortunate. And, and I, I just think that the sooner we get out there, the better off we're going to be. Um, I think we're running out of time and you know, we don't want right. to do it in July and then push it back to August and then end up in September anyway. So whether we do it in June or whether we do it in July, let's just do it as quickly as possible. Give our executive directors, hopefully they have all the support from the state government that the constitution uh, affords us and they're able to move forward quickly and get this set up. You know, too soon is not too soon or not soon enough. Uh, uh, Commissioner Imamura, I agree with you that um, keep in mind, colleagues, where there's a back end date that, that's immovable, and that's September 15th. We're supposed to produce maps by then. So obviously, our public hearings have to take place prior to that. And uh, the idea that uh, that was mentioned that there is a June primary and uh, uh, the public, I think, will be made preoccupied at this point. We haven't put anything out uh, in terms of our work. I, I, I think that's a good idea, at least preliminarily, to let the public know uh, probably, you know, after starting sometime in July, the, the public hearings will start up. I don't think there's any harm in, in conveying that uh, to the public and, and quote, stay tuned. But our, our intention is to start our public hearings up in July uh, to make sure that there's public input prior to our first mandate to produce maps in September. And stay tuned, with, you know, a, a more detailed schedule is forthcoming. You know, and when it comes, we'll all be on board. That's fair. Um, let me. Yeah, let me... there's a lot of lo logistics that are going to be involved in this process, and I think that you know uh, Douglas and Karen already have a full plate with job postings, trying to get a staff and and offices and hardware that we're going to need, and um, I I do I do see that. You know, once we have those basic things in place, that's when we are actually going to have the capability of setting up all of the logistics to carry out these public hearings. And, and, and we will definitely, in my view, we will inform the public when we have those capabilities, right? Um, uh, you know, I, I do agree that as as Commissioner Martin says that as soon as possible, right, with all due speed. Um, but it it will depend on us having those capabilities in order to actually set dates and and move forward. But of course, just just to say that we do have all intents to get these public hearings going as soon as possible uh, once we have all of those things that we need in order to best um, organize these events, right? And, and provide the public with the best access possible to us um, and, and to providing us with their testimony. Thank you, uh, Commissioner. I, yeah, yeah I, I Commissioner Brady. Yes, yeah, sorry. No, I mean I concur. It's more uh, hyperbolic, but what's more American after uh, Independence Day on July Fourth than uh, coming together and doing some good government work with an independent redistricting committee, commission? So uh, I think that that's probably the target we're going to be uh, aiming for anyway, just uh, de facto. But uh, I think that's the way we go. Let me let me just jump in here for one one quick second, and I agree with everyone. But if we have the opportunity to have our ducks in a row earlier, um, 
I think this issue of, of June primary is predominantly um, a New York City issue. And, you know, there's a, there's a big state out there and we have plenty of meetings in Western and Northern New York and Southern tier and in, in Albany and certainly out on Long Island um, that we can advance um, while, you know, they go through the primary process. If there's a concern about there being, you know, some distraction and people aren't going to be able to participate, uh, let's just remember that you know, it's an awfully big state out there, 20 million plus as far as this census is concerned. Uh, and it just, you know, we shouldn't hold everything up because there happens to be a primary in New York City. That's all. Agreed. I agree with that, Commissioner. But there were primaries throughout the state. This is a statewide primary day, is it not? I understand. It's just not going to be as prevalent as it is in the great city of New York. You know, if you if you look at, at areas around the state, I can tell you there really aren't going to be any, any primaries out here in Nassau County um, in June. I can tell you there's going to be an awful lot of primaries in New York City. And so I, I, I get the difference. All right, commissioners, anything else on this topic? So that's it for our formal agenda. Is there anything that anyone would like to discuss on this meeting? All right, well, Doug, hopefully at our next meeting, you will be on payroll. Um, thank you all so much for joining us um, and have a good day. Thank you all. Have a great thank day, everyone. Have a great weekend. Have a great day. Thank you, everyone.